our team goals for this year, we just we just talked as a team yesterday. One one of our biggest team goals is a commitment to excellence as a team. That can mean a lot of things, but mostly it means doing things as well as we can all the time, being excellent representatives of Hampton Sydney and our families. What it's going to take to achieve that really is working every day together toward those goals. Our, our uh, on everyday application of that goal, it's to, when we come to practice, do things right, work hard, when we go to meets, prepare together well, run well, and uh, uh, we'll set our goals in terms of competitiveness as the season goes along. And one of the great things about cross country is, is you can have improvement every week. And, and uh, uh, another one of our goals then would be to work a little bit every day toward improving. When we first got here, I think we uh, established some goals was to have fun and proceed with excellence. Um, also is to stay healthy throughout with the team. Well, um, in all the previous years, we've been getting faster and faster, so hopefully we'd like to continue that and um, all drop our times a little bit or significantly, depending on the person. Uh, we'd also like to develop healthier habits in order to do this, so um, that involves getting a lot of sleep. Um, getting other things out of the way, like time management, in order to make sure that running is our priority and um, so that we can pass on our legacy to the, um, yeah, to the uh, juniors and sophomores who are still on the team, um, show them how to continue on these habits and go faster. The strengths of our team are our young men. We have an extremely bright, extremely hardworking veteran group with excellent, le excellent leadership. We have three seniors that will, uh, that will lead our young guys and have a lot of experience. We have a, a tremendous group of guys. Uh, also, another strength we have, uh, Coach Leonard uh, has been with us this fall and she's been invaluable in, in uh, our preparation to start the season. Well, I think the strengths of the team are mainly found in Reed's ginormous muscles. But I think besides Reed's muscles, the main strengths come from the unity throughout the team. I think we're a small team that has bonded a lot throughout the years, and we've become really close. We know when each other are hurting or when we need to push each other more, and I think that's a great strength that we have. I think that in cross country, the area of improvement is is a slow building of fitness and endurance toward uh, the big goal meets later in the year. We have an ODAC championship at the end of the season. That's always a big target for us. And in cross country, you can only get a bit better every day. So our area of improvement is is to increase our fitness, increase our endurance and our strength toward that goal of being the best we can be at the end of the season. So far, uh, I think what we're most looking forward to is uh, the new coach, Matt Griswold. Um, with him coming in and Betsy helping him out transitioning, I think that'll be a great combination to help us exceed our expectations and get closer to our potential. Sorry, yeah. Through the efforts of both Coach Griswold and Betsy, uh, we have a pretty tentative schedule this year. Uh, so this should be able to help us to plan ahead and. Um, see areas where we really can improve in the future. So it, um, I can already look ahead and see that it's going to be a great well, year. We've all come in with a little bit, or at least most of us have come in with a little bit of a uh, slight injury from the early training. Um, so hopefully we'd like to improve our injury prevention methods. And obviously we'd all like to decrease our times. So in the future we'd all like to improve our uh, recovery techniques hopefully get a little bit more ice baths and uh, stretching in, develop uh, better routines to do those things. So far, my experience here has been just awesome. What I'm continuing to look forward to is the everyday interaction with our students, faculty, and staff. Hampton Sydney has been a very warm and welcoming place. The culture here is a, one of tremendous support and family, and I look I look forward to coming to work every day. I have a I have a terrific job working with these young men and this faculty and staff, and I will continue to look forward to that every day. Our senior, I think this year we're most looking forward to. 
Uh, some of the shorter races, we have a couple 5Ks this year, so that'll be a good little break from a 8K. And um, we're also looking forward to how we'll be able to use these 5Ks to help us bring those paces, kind of a faster pace into our 8K races, um, maybe for some faster times also. Also this year, we're um, recruiting a new member of the team, Thomas, looking out for you, man. We're excited to see what you will be able to bring to the team. Um, we lost a man this year, one senior, Cecil. Give a shout out to him. He was a great captain for our team last year, co-captain. He inspired us all to be better. Um, we'll definitely miss him, but without him, we have all returning guys. So we didn't lose too much, even though it was a whole lot, if that makes sense. Um, but we're, also, we're looking forward to this year. Some strong workouts going on. Our seniors are, are ready to compete this year. We had one young man, Lewis Brooks, a senior that made, uh, made some uh, great contributions to the team last year. Rant posted some excellent times, and his fitness this year is, is, uh, is, is ready to go. Uh, we expect him to continue and uh, celebrate the, the success he's had and continue to have more success. And then we'll be working toward uh, our other seniors uh, and, uh, and some of our underclassmen putting together a group that can score well when we run meets. Our other seniors, uh, Tyler Williams and Reed Mingione, have been working hard and have made great strides for it also. We expect them to be competitive. And then uh, uh, we also are looking at our, our underclassmen as well, making contributions again more and more as the season goes along. Um, at the end of last season, I really saw Sean stepping up his game. And this season with him returning, I feel like he's a little stronger this year. And I think he has a lot of room to improve his game. And um, even this morning, I felt like I can already see him getting faster on some repeats, some four, some little track repeats we were doing. Uh, he's not too far behind me on repeats. Hopefully, it'll be in a meet soon.